Okay, so as you all know by now, by, by now, my name is Gaurav. I'm part of the app services team. And what I'm going to talk and demo is quickly about the automatic scaling for web apps. So before I jump into the demo, I thought let me set a bit of the context about this feature. So now this is a feature we have just recently previewed. So this is yet another option for you to set up scale conditions for your web app. So basically you can like scale out and scale in your web app based on incoming HTTP traffic. And some of the scenarios where we think you, you may want to use this feature is like if you don't want to use the auto scale uh, where you could set conditions and schedules and based on metrics. Or if you have a scenarios where you have multiple web apps in an app service plan, but you want them to scale differently. And again, I'm saying differently and not independently. But they, you want them to scale differently. And the other part is there are many scenarios where your app may just scale out too quickly, too soon, and the backend system may get overwhelmed. So now as part of this feature, we basically do allow you to set up a cap on how far your app can scale even if it has more instances available to it. So that helps you kind of, you know, take control and not let the backend systems be overwhelmed. So before I move to the demo, I just want to call out uh, some important points about this feature. So one is it's supported on all Windows, Linux, and Windows containers. It's only available for premium SKUs, PV2 and PV3. You can either use automatic scaling or auto scale, but not both. So if there's a scenario where you have auto scale rules already configured and you now go and turn on automatic scaling, we will basically uh, kind of you know, not respect the existing auto scale rules. So you can do either of them, but not both. The other important point to remember is that for the app service plan, where you plan to configure the automatic scaling, you should only and only have web apps. If you have an existing function app within the same plan, you know, you'll get an error. And if you want to use automatic scaling kind of a feature with functions, basically uh, just go use premium, elastic premium functions because that's exactly what it does. The other thing is the final point that you should be disabling the always on option and there's a reason which I'm going to show in the demo that basically once you have automatic scaling turned on, you don't need always on setting to be available. So you should be disabling that. Now this is how the new UX, you'll start seeing this uh, automatic scaling with preview. Now what happens here is currently if you see my app is uh, set to scale manually. So I have two instances available. Now once I move over and select automatic scaling, I'll see bunch of extra configurations show up on the screen. Now let me explain some of these configurations very quickly. So what we mean by maximum burst is how much maximum can I plan scale? Remember for premium SKUs, you can only go up to 30 instances. So that's what my plan can scale up to. So if I just drag this slider. So what this means is now my plan can scale up to 30 instances. Now the second setting is all about always ready instances. So what, what this means is if I set it at two, that my app will be running always at all times, at least on two instances. So that's what we mean by always ready instances. The other uh, option, uh, and the third setting, if you see enforce scale out limit, that's basically optional. So what this means is, if I turn this off, what this scenario would do is, my plan can scale out up to 30. I currently have two instances available for my web app. Now once the load starts coming in, my web app can actually scale out up to 30. So that's what this scenario would do. Now if I set the scale out limit here, and currently if you see I have a scale out limit at seven, maybe I can make it 10. What this means is that once the scale event starts happening, once it's kicked in, basically my web app, this web app is not going to scale out beyond 10. So it's gonna be between two and 10. So look at the scenario, I have more than one web application as part of the same plan. What I can do now is I can have two instances available for web app A, 
and set to a maximum scale of 10, whereas if I have a web app called B, I could basically now have five always ready instances or five always warm instances for my web app and maybe I could, uh, I may not even enforce the scale out limit and that app B may just scale out to 30 instances. So that's what this means. Let me go ahead and save this. Now what I'm going to do is, so this is the app and if you come to other sessions that I will be presenting, you will again see the same app because I love this so much. So <laughs> now if I just go ahead and uh, this is, I'm what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to set a load testing for this. So I'm basically going to throw a, you, uh, around 250 users load on this app. Before I switch on to the load, if you see, I am on the live metrics of AMP, app insights which I have configured along with this web app. You can see I only have two servers online because earlier I had just set a manual scale of two. So basically I only have two instances available. Now, let me go ahead and run this test. Now this will take close to two minutes because behind the scene we will be provisioning a load test engine and that's where the uh, actual load test is going to begin. Uh, this is step. So when, when we are scaling, basically what that means is we are just adding additional instances. We don't reset the running instances of the app. So like if your app is already there on two instances, we don't touch that app. What we do is during the scale out event, we will add more instances and your app will now have extra instances to execute on. So that depends pretty much on your application architecture. If your application is based on a queue, so once you have more infrastructure available, once your ap application can accept more requests, maybe you can pull more requests out of the queue and start uh, uh, delivering that to the app and the result back to the customer. Oh yes, it's now provision. So if you see now, we have already scaled out to seven. So what's happening behind the scene now is, and if you see that basically we, uh, the CP usage will start tapering down. So basically now what just happened is that I had two instances. I configured that I can go up to 10 and you can see this now at 10. It won't go beyond 10. Although I have said that I, my app can, uh, my plan can basically scale out up to 30, but this specific app will not go beyond 10 because I have enforced a maximum limit on this app. And a very important point to note here is that once you have configured automatic scaling, you don't need to configure separate rules for scale out and scale in. We do that for you. So basically what that means is, as you can see now we are at 10 servers, once, uh, the scale event is over. I mean, in my case, it's just a load test which is supposed to run for two minutes. Once that is over, there is obviously a wait period. Beyond that wait period, we'll start draining the nodes and basically we'll again scale back in uh, to two instances. So that's how simple this uh, whole scaling option is. It's just based on your uh, Incoming HTTP traffic, yes, we, uh, we, we are not giving you the option to maybe schedule a test or we are not giving you an option to like tinker with metrics. If you're looking at those options, again, you go back to uh, auto scaling and you can configure those kind of rules.
Yes, so from a demo point of view, that's it from my side, but I just wanted to uh, show you how quickly you can set up a scale on your uh, web app. Again, um, we don't have like a fixed cooldown period. It purely depends on the function of, you know, how soon the memory and the CPU percentage goes down. Yes, and one more important thing, there's another option uh, which we, we have not provisioned in the UX quite intentionally, which is a concept of pre-warmed instances or buffer instances. So what that means is by default, all uh, once you turn on automatic scaling, we define the buffer instance as one. So like when, when we go from two to three to four to five, we'll always have a buffer instance ready, which will keep adding. So basically that's where we can do such fast scaling. But if you want to change the buffer instance uh, count, maybe from one to two or three, if you because you know your app best, you can always go to the CLI and do it. So we have the support in AZ CLI. 